Welcome back guys and girls to a brand new video. Today we're going to be bringing you advanced tips into the Thin Ice tutorial, helping you to win more games and be more effective. So, question of the day, what are you enjoying currently about the Season 4 right now? Did you know that I haven't even had a chance to play? Because I've been making special videos for you! Woohoo! Anyway, let's get into this boys and girls. So basically, we're just going to start with the two little clips from the double timeout. So now it's time to get ready to rumble! Are you ready for this? The first rule of thumb, always watch out for other players! Common sense, right? Yes, that way you know when they are going to attempt to come across to you. When facing players like so, GG. make sure that you're ready to grab. This will be the downfall, baby! Yeah! Okay, once you've done this, you've basically secured your area as much as physically possible. Take your time. This is just a live example for you. Watch where this player's gonna make his god jump. Be ready. No Challenge him. Guy, Push him back. Always take the height advantage. This will make it much easier to push them back. Boom, baby! That's right, boom, baby! Here is an example of teams that like to attack you. If you win too much, you will find teams like this, and they will go full force towards you. What you need to do is show them that you're very capable of being able to fight them back, and then cut them off, and send them to the doom. Yeah! Let's get it, boys! And girls, don't worry ladies, I'm not leaving you out of this one. <laughs> Game over, baby. Moving on, we take on the gold witch and we're going to show you how to outplay a bullet skin, which is an OG skin of the Fall Guys. Cutting them off early is much more effective. This gives them no options of recovery. Do not be afraid to 360 spin jump and secure your area quicker, faster to gain a huge advantage. And by huge, I mean huge, as you see right here. Unlucky buddy! Moving on, in honor of the Spark City himself, we are now in the ducky skin. Remember, when you let go, you've got movement control and you're able to control your character's movement rather than be full popped by the opposite player. Always take on the fight, lead them to where you want them to go, and that way you can secure your area much faster, much easier, and keep eyes on the other players around you using your camera angles to help much more to effect. This will give you the advantage by that one extra towel that you need, as you see here. Again, be aware of your surroundings, because players like that pigeon could have easily jousted me. But, we're going to cut him off right here. There you go, baby. Geronimo! We've secured an area. Again, always be aware of your surroundings. Players will challenge your area. Make them panic, make them keep eyes on you, but be ready for challenges. Timing is key, tapping back forces a player to be down as he's making his jump animation. Little tip for you guys and girls, you can jump on a singular unbroken towel around six times. In other words, you got time baby. Again, camera angles is very important, knowing where players are actually going is ultra important that way you can pick and choose the less congested areas which can mean the difference between winning and losing remember guys and girls always demonstrate your ability to fight teams back when you are ganged on by three maybe even four players like so you need to demonstrate that you can actually evasive maneuver against them and also fight them back when the vital time comes. Remember, force them to where you want them to go. You can do this by little hold grabs. Patience is key. 
knowing where to cut off and knowing where players are going to try to secure. Making an early move can be very effective as it gives you that one extra tile to secure the dub as you see here. Boom baby! Moving on, go to areas where players are fighting. Say for example if two players are fighting, that is your advantage right there. Remember guys and girls you can do a little dance, make a little love, get yeah, down tonight. I'm gonna have to somehow get across there. Is a live example of a more advanced and it tricky is. situation. Ah, the body desync is real, baby. Be confident, be chill, keep calm, and you will prevail. Don't worry, some players will make mistakes, but that can work out for you. Take the fight. Do not be afraid. If their tile breaks first, you can obviously full hold them and be safe on your tile to be able to recover. Here is why you chase down, but remember guys and girls, if you go at full speed in these situations, you run the risk of them turning and 360 body blocking you straight into the slime, or turning and 360ing, and then jump diving into you to joust you off into the slime. Just be aware. Sometimes what you'll find is being speedy can be your advantage as well. So even though speed takes out more tiles, that may be the ideal situation for you. So you can see the player doesn't spot that little tile. He does make it across, but we use the speed to our advantage again. We know the area is better over this side, and we know there's a pathway across. Therefore, we take that area. As I turn the camera angle around, you can see that this player now has to make several gamer jumps in order to make it over to me, which is entirely possible. When being chased down by a naughty messenger skin. Ah, get that skin out of here, buddy. Always keep moving. Do not let them catch you. Do not let them catch you up as they will be able to tap grab you over the slime or full hold you back into a fight that you don't need to take. Remember to take advantage of players that are looking away from you and you can get an easy desync body block kill in between. When facing players like so, grab, hold back, make them panic and make them turn around. Turn around right now. Every now and then you fall in the slime and I need you more tonight. Anyway guys and girls, now that you've experienced my awful sinking methods, <laughs> let's get back to it. Let me know in the comments if this video did help you out and if you enjoyed the video guys and girls, working hard every day to make better content for you. And what we're going to finish up with guys and girls is the legend himself, Spark City, where we practice our grabbing and our cutoffs to help a Spark win his game. Here we go. Right guys and girls, peace out and that is synergy for now. In a bit, Capitan!